Sport during lockdown. They said it couldn't happen, but it's back. And we are here to bring you all of the action. We start with soccer and go live now to the Brandywell, where kickoff is just minutes away. Well, Brian, I'm here on the sidelines, and let me tell you, the atmosphere is absolutely non-existent. Sounds like it's going to be a cracker. Oh, there's been a goal in the Dublin Derby. That's right, Tierney swinging a lovely cross into the box there. Tierney Corton completely unmarked due to the two-metre social distancing rules. Get ahead on it. That's a weak attempt, but the goalkeeper doesn't get anywhere near it because he's too concerned with surface transmission from the ball. It's all square here in Daily Mount. Now it looks like our man of the match in the early kickoff is with Peter. Peter? First of all, Shane, uh, what a game. Uh, yeah, it was tough out there. You know, I was finding it difficult to breathe uh, through the mask, especially in the second half. But it all turned around after half time. Yeah, well, you know, credit to the coach. Uh, we got a, a cracker of a half time speech on Zoom. The sound cut out a bit, but, you know, we got the gist of it and went out there, got the job done. And we have the manager now live from his home in Donna Bay. Pierre, what did you make of the game? Obviously, I could not be there, so I have to watch the match on TV, but I do not have Sky Sports, so I have to get a dodgy stream. Uh, it kept stalling, uh, very difficult to watch. I missed both goals, and now I think my computer has a virus. On to basketball, where we're just minutes away from tip-off. Both teams emerging from the tunnel now. Ukraine wearing their yellow PPE and England in their traditional white PPE. Both teams looking very nervous. Well, we go to athletics now, where Chris McLaughlin has just taken silver in the men's 100 metres. Planned a personal best today, but unfortunately, you know, it, it just wasn't good enough. I think Pavlichev's two-metre head start, it, it could have made a difference. It's a lot to make up, especially over the 100 metres. The 4x100 relay just finished now. How did it go? Uh, one of the slowest races we've had here in recent times. Each changeover of the baton was met with a spray and a cloth. Really slowed the whole thing down, John. Unwatchable. Paulo O'Hare is ringside. Well, I am here at the boxing where it has been a very drab affair. Both boxers avoiding each other like the plague. This one's going to go the 12 rounds. We go live now to the Monaco Grand Prix. Jack, what do you have for us? Well, it is neck and neck here between McLaren and Mercedes. Oh, and it's the Mercedes car that's being stopped and a police checkpoint. Well, he's losing valuable seconds here. He's, he's having to explain where he's going. Lewis Hamilton looking furious. Leo, wh where are you? Well, I am here at the fencing where uh, not much has changed, really. Gloves, face masks and two metre distancing. A sport flourishing. During the pandemic. Curling is a sport that's also flourishing. Very true, but with one minor alteration, disinfectant has been added to the brushes on the ice. So they're not just playing the sport, but also sanitising as they go. Usually there are a few new sports that pop up every few years. At the last Olympics it was rugby sevens and golf, but what do we have now, Leo? Hand washing, Brian. It was only a matter of time. Unfortunately though, the sport is already mired in controversy as Irish athlete Michael Donovan was found in his residence to have traces of the banned substance Neutrogena on his hands. He has disputed this and the hands have been sent to Seville for further testing. Doomed up. Thank you very much for watching. We're Foil Arms and Hog. We have new videos every single Thursday. <laughs> if you like what you see, why don't you subscribe to the channel? If you really like what we do, we have a Patreon page. Maybe it's a Patreon page. Patreon? Patreon? What is Patreon? Well, it's a place where we put a bonus material and uh, free access to all five of our live shows that we filmed. They are... About an hour long each, maybe more even. How do you do that? It's a monthly subscription. What does it cost you? Well, whatever you like. Thanks a mil. This is all very usable footage. <laughs> and doomed up.